Hello everyone, welcome back to the Samaritan Paradox. Let's take a look at our surroundings. She wore a beautiful dagger in her leather purse. Oh, that's so cool, it even describes the stuff that you look at in terms of as if you're reading it in a book. That's really cool. Swimming away wasn't an option. That's the boat she came with, she concluded. It looked severely damaged. There were rags of sail floating in the water. Anything I can scavenge? She had a vague memory of this being filled with wine. Anyway, I can get inside. She recognized the lamp. How she used to fill it with oil. A tipped over barrel was floating in the water. Books of tales and fiction. A water bottle, seemingly full, lay on the messed up bed. Yeah, unfortunately everything's out of my reach. A sharp rock had breached the hole. It would be impossible to repair it without the right tools. Yeah, I don't think there's anything I can do here yet. Can I just, like, actually go inside, though? The door is obstructed by a dislocated plank. Oh, okay. That explains it. Need some tools. A little lighthouse was situated between the two beaches. There were scribblings in charcoal on the lighthouse wall. First, a sketch resembling three puffs of smoke. Then some names. Sten, Yor, Garor, Vithar. And before them, other names washed away by time. How strange. Oh, here we go. This might be useful. Charred weapons. Badly burnt weapons and armor pieces lay scattered on the beach. The weapons were too badly damaged to be of use to her. One of the shields looked functional, though. Ah, she decided to take the shield. There we go. She carried a small circular shield, blackened by some unknown fire. A sooty shield and a dagger. Ooh. Some beautiful flowers. Beautiful flowers that grew around the well. She wasn't in need of flowers the least. There was a well near the beach. She wasn't thirsty right now, strangely enough. Stone table. It's an odd place for a table. In the distance, a cliff towered. Oh, I can actually go towards the cliff. Which I don't actually want to do yet. Let's go check out the lighthouse. A beacon ready to be lit. There was a fence right where the stair reached the platform. Hmm. I just had an idea. Since this is an adventure game and I have a sooty shield, am I supposed to light this fire by first cleaning off the shield by using it in the water, in the well? So then it reflects and using the reflection to somehow start a fire? I feel like that might be a solution. As dumb as it is. That wouldn't work with the shield in its current condition. Okay, yes you are. Ah, <sighs> adventure games. Hmm, I can't clean it off with a well. Okay, I guess I need like a rag or something. Nothing happens when I use it on the stone table. Anyway, let's go to the cliff.
She recognized this type of tree from her childhood. How her hands used to get all sticky. It felt just as she anticipated it to feel. Sticky. Can I gather some by any chance? She cut the tree with her dagger. Chunk of resin. She grabbed a sizable chunk of resin. Excellent. Can I use that to clean? I doubt a sticky bit of resin would be useful for cleaning a shield. That would not make the shield cleaner. Indeed, it would not. A second well came forth just by the foot of a huge cliff. The cliff seemed almost vertical. The top could only barely be discerned amongst the bright sky. Much... The cliff is much too high and far too steep to be climbed by mortal feet. The resin was of a... was of an unusually soft and sticky kind. Hmm. What do I do with it, though? suppose I can put it up here, can I? That wouldn't work towards lighting the beacon. It was too dirty, too dirty to reflect the sun. To reflect enough the sun. Okay, if I can't clean it at a well, what do I need exactly? I probably need something from the wreck, right? Perhaps the... Bottle of wine or something? I'm not sure. Oh, I want to throw the blob of resin in there. I still need to get inside. I can't use my dagger on it. I don't think my shield's gonna help. Or with my chunk of resin. Hmm. Wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. Sail. Ah, Pixel Hunt, of course. She took the piece of sail with her. See, that's why I wish there was a Highlight Objects button. Highlight Hotspots would be very nice. Wait, so that doesn't work. The sail was too worn and dirty, she'd prefer something more spongy. What the heck do I do with a shred of a sail, then? Can't get it wet. Hmm. I need something spongy. Any spongy flowers about? Some useful local fauna. It's funny, he says, she'd prefer something more spongy. Well, I mean... You're kind of in a survival situation, so who gives a damn what you prefer? If it works, it works. Don't need more resin. Oh, there's a cove back here. 
Another reason a hotspot indicator would be very nice. Ooh, a spongy, clean-looking lump of moss grew on the rock. What do you know? There we go, nice and clean. A small rowboat lay moored on the beach. It must have belonged to a larger ship. A rope kept it in place. The center of the island was composed of a near impenetrable thicket. She tried to avoid the thick jungle. Hmm, do I actually want to take it off? The mooring rope is attached to the boat with an old knot hardened by the salty water. I could cut it. She cut the rope right by the knot, salvaging a good six feet. The boat was in poor condition and was leaking still. And was leaking. Still, it didn't appear to have been there for that long. On the bottom, something shiny caught Frasia's attention. She reached down and got it. Ooh, what was it? A ruby ring. The ring featured a rare-looking red gem. Hmm. Let's try this now. She'd lean the shield against the fence. Excellent. And there we go. The beacon was fully aflame. Now shine your ruby ring amongst the land. That would not produce anything useful. Okay, fair enough. She waved the wet sail over the flames. Not really sure why I did that. I guess it's a good thing. It's doing something. Something big approached. Oh. The entire earth... Oh, yeah. The entire earth just mm. shook. Welcome, girl. Uh, Thank you. Where am I? On my island, obviously. I have never been challenged by a young girl before. Well, there is a first time for everything. Challenged? The smoke signals. Those are for summoning me to challenge. Well, I never planned to challenge anyone. Fine. Then I shall simply eat you now. What? No, stop! Can I not just leave? Silly girl, the only way to leave this island is to win the duel. Now be still, I'm too old for cat and mouse games. Fine, I challenge you to a duel. I thought so. This will buy you a day, at least. You came here with the challenge, hence I decide how it is fought. And I choose a battle of wits. Very well, suits me better than weapons, at least. Now, listen carefully. On this island, there are three wells. They are all situated on different altitudes. The first one is right over there on the beach. The third is all the way up in my tower. The steep cliff over there? Correct. Now, the water of each well is highly poisonous. Drinking from it will lead to your death within an hour. There is only one antidote, namely water from a well situated higher up. Thus, if you drink from the water of the first well, you must hurry to drink from either of the other two wells. The duel is fought by presenting a bowl of water to the other. We exchange bowls and make a toast. The one who lives after one hour wins the duel. But wait a minute. I cannot possibly access the third well. I cannot fly like you. Then I guess you shall not drink from that well. Only you can reach the third well, which is the antidote to all other wells. There is nothing wrong with your comprehension, at least. This is highly unfair. Would you prefer a duel of brute force instead, here and now? No, I am fine with the first game. When do we meet to exchange bowls? At nightfall. Good. I shall offer you a nice toast. That is the spirit. Oh, and I always ask for the names of my visitors. 
I like to know the name of that which I eat. Well, I think my name is Freya. You think? I really do not remember my name. What are you, a complete Cretan? Here I hoped for a proper challenge. I have no memories at all. Please, enough about you already. Freya is as fine as any name. Good. And what of your name? I prefer to know the name of those whom I poisoned to death. I am Semita, you insolent humanling. Now get going. You have until dusk to come up with your plan. A battle of wits. That does not seem like a battle of wits. At least, not for her. For me, maybe, because I'm going to have to MacGyver something to get up that cliff, but for her, it's nothing. It's a battle of her ability to fly for ten seconds to the top of a tower. And that's pretty much the only thing it's a battle of. So yes, I second that. It's highly unfair. Okay. Well, she said no mortal feet could possibly climb up that cliff, so... I think I need to find an immortal person's feet. The bowl was still empty. Got a chunk rope. I mean, I suppose if I had like an anchor, not an anchor, um, like a grappling hook type thing, some sort of a hook, I could use that to maybe get up the cliff. The ring featured a rare-looking red gem. Hmm. Not help her scale the cliff, okay. Rope with resin. I don't think that's gonna be used for the cliff, probably gonna be used for the wreck. Alright, let's go get some stuff from the wreck. It doesn't work for that. Water flask. The bottle contained drinking water. So nothing else I actually can get. Alright, books, no. Bottle, no. Use it on the rock. Yes, I'll pull out the rock with my resin on a rope. Nope. She drank some of the drinking water from her ship. She poured some of the drinking water into the bowl. So I suppose I'm going to trick her by not actually drinking the poisoned water, or something? Not quite sure. I could just wait. Dragon's Duel. Fill your bowl with water from one of the three wells. Okay, I've done that, although it's not actually from the wells. At sunset you will exchange bowls and drink up.
Okay, but I have to kill the dragon to win the duel, right? Yep. Even if you survive her toast, you still have to kill the dragon. So... Oops. No, 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 go back. I think I better save. I guess we'll wait. It is nightfall and time for our toast. Please give me your bowl. Pretty sure I'm dead. Here. Thank you. And here is your bowl. Says the dragon had offered Frasia water from the third well, there was no antidote available for her. The last thing she remembered was the dragon carrying away her powerless body to its nest. Yay! To absolutely nobody's surprise, that did not work. Right, so I don't have an antidote, and I think I kind of need to poison the dragon. So... <laughs> Doing that would result in a giant sewing needle, but she wasn't in need of that one. She wasn't in need of one now. Fair enough. Needle and thread, except my needle is a dagger. Nothing over here. Got everything. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do with the ring. Mostly ashes remain. Stab the ashes! Take that! Hiya! What did this thing say again? Scribblings in charcoal. Uh huh. Three puffs of smoke and then some names. Stan Yarg or Vithar. It's not helpful. I don't actually know what to do. Am I supposed to get in here? I certainly don't have the tools to do it. Hmm. Drink more water. And again, and again, and again, and again, and again. Infinite water. She emptied the bowl and poured some more of the drinking water into it rather pointlessly. Thank you. Thank you for allowing me to do that game. My life is now complete. I pointlessly poured pointless drinking water into a pointless bowl. Simply out of reach. So I don't think I'm actually supposed to climb? I don't really know. I'm afraid I have to resort to using everything on everything.
It's not working. I do believe I'm stuck. Okay, but how does my progress in the other world, the book world, how does that affect what happens here? I mean, surely I need to get to the end of it, right? It wouldn't really make much sense if you didn't. At sunset, you will exchange bowls and drink up. Okay, if the water from any wells is poisonous and you have to drink from well situated higher up, then what if you get water from the third well, the highest one? There's no well that's higher than that. Let's pointlessly do this again. It is nightfall. Here. Thank you. And here is your bowl. Mm hmm. What if, instead of giving it water, I stabbed it. Even though she trusted she could handle the dagger aptly, this foe was far beyond normal fencing. Fair enough. Damn it. It did it automatically. Here. I have no idea. Why do I still have the rope with resin? There's gotta be something I can still do with it. My urge to walk through is... is deepening. It's probably just some tiny little thing that I didn't even realize you could click on. I don't know what to do with any of this stuff. I can't pick up any more stuff with this rope with resin. I have no idea what the hell use of ruby ring would be. Huh. Huh. Okay, I just looked up a walkthrough. I'm glad, just like pretty much always in adventure games, I'm glad I did. The solution is one of the biggest balls of stupid I have ever seen. My god, this is an incredibly dumb puzzle. I, I can't even explain it. I don't even want to explain it. I don't even want to understand it because it's so dumb. But apparently the solution is uh, this. Uh, she emptied her water bottle and filled it with water from the well. So apparently I need drinking water inside of the bowl that I give to the dragon. And I need water from the first well in my water bottle, which I'm going to need to drink. It's so dumb. Unbelievably dumb. What am I even doing? I'm going to the wrong spot. I was overcome with the dumbness that I went to the wrong area. Let's try that again. There we go. It is. She quickly downed a few mouthfuls of the poisoned well water, hoping the dragon wouldn't notice. The liquid felt strange in her stomach. Apparently that's what you gotta do. Here you go. Here. Thank you. Frasia drank from the dragon's bowl, and the uneasy feeling in her stomach subsided. She had neutralized the poison. 
The dragon, however, was sure Frasia was bound to die and carried her off to its nest. Ah, but she's going to die instead. Cause stuff. Now I shall drink some water from my well and then rest for a while. Find yourself at home, please. For the remaining hour of your woefully transient existence. Hmm. I wonder if she'll be suspicious if I just say, yeah, go drink from the well. Because she's apparently going to poison herself because I only gave her straight water. So it's not going to neutralize anything. I don't know. This is supposed to be a battle of wits, but in reality it's a battle of trying to solve a puzzle that they don't give you the tools to actually be able to solve. It's so dumb. It's so dumb. Seriously, go, like, you're probably wondering what the hell's going on. Look up the walkthrough for this game and look at the solution for this. It's so dumb! There's all of this logic going on in the background, but none of it's ever revealed to the player as to what the hell is actually even supposed to be going on. Anyway, I have some questions. Have some questions. Oh, fine. I will share some of my near-infinite knowledge with you, however little time you shall have to use it. Oh my god. Is that a hatchling's nest over there? It is, indeed. I have a daughter. She is out ravaging the seas. She might return later to taste a bit of you. She is mad for human flesh. Well, oh, she's about to be an orphan. So, um, <clears throat> if, if I won, I mean, I'm gonna die, but if I won... Suppose I win the duel. How will I get down? You have already lost the duel. You drank from my water, for which you have not acquired an antidote. Need I explain the rules many more times, forgetful child? Who came with the rowboat on the other beach? An adventure seeker just like the rest challenged me with his sword. What good is a sword when it is molten? That coward got away, though. Swam off like a seal, probably swallowed by the waves. Why do people come here to challenge you? Maybe they like the pain. Nobody likes the pain, or it would not be called pain. True. I have something that is theirs. So they are quite justified in confronting you, then? Oh, yes, and their visits give me pleasure. It is by keeping their treasure here that I can beckon them. Spares me the effort of roving the ocean. I am old and tired. I have no more questions. I am sure you will excuse me while I go to my own personal well, the highest one here, incidentally, and drink from it. An hour later. <sighs> Hello? Semita? There was no reply. Not a sound was heard. The water from the third well proved fatal for the dragon, instead of the antidote she had expected it to be. I still can't get over how dumb that puzzle was. Oh my god. It's so bad. I'm gonna save my game to ensure that I never have to do it again. It wasn't a battle of wits, it was a battle of who can understand this incredibly absurdly designed puzzle. I seriously still can't get over how dumb that was. I can't, I can't, I, I can't believe somebody would design a puzzle like that. Why? Dear God, why? Anyway. A shiny horn of some sort lay on a stone. Is that what you're protecting? She took the golden horn. She had in her possession a shiny clarion horn. Glowing charcoal illuminated the cave. She could see clusters of brimstone near the embers. She took a piece of brimstone crystal from the fire pit.
She had found a crystal of brimstone in Samita's lair. A nest occupied one corner of the lair. It seemed rather old and no longer in use. Next to the nest lay a heap of shed skin. Shed skin. <laughs> it's, it's the skin from a shed of shed skin. There we go. She took the large sheets of shed skin. Hmm. Shed skin from the dragonling. It was surprisingly soft and flexible. I wonder if I could use that to repair my ship. One must wonder. Well, we're pretty high up here, huh? She studied the sky for a while. Slowly, images of star constellations learned long ago came back to her. She made sure to memorize these constellations. Navigating by the stars. Very important. She wouldn't touch the dragon, dead or not. Hmm. Okay, do I need to make, like, a parachute or something? <laughs> How'd I even go about doing that? I have no idea. Attempting to climb a cliff would result in certain death, of course. What the hell do I do with a crystal of brimstone? Like, seriously, what are you supposed to do with Brimstone? Okay, well, I can't use the skin on anything here. In my inventory. I don't know, these puzzles are insufferable. Hold on, walk through. Mm hmm. Oh, right. Now I need the giant sewing kit. <sighs> Using her makeshift giant sewing kit, she could fashion an interesting contraption. Aha, uh -huh. alright, let's go. Go. Do I need to attach it to something? Okay, I don't use it on her, I don't use it on the cliff, I don't use it on the sky. What do I use it on? She had stitched together a large sheet of shed dragon skin. Uh -huh. Yep. Could you, um, use it? A powerful gust of air came from beneath. Ah, okay. Take me away! Far, far away from these horrible puzzles! That was a strange tale. I hope Sarah will find it useful, somehow. Yes. Let's give her a call. No reply. Hmm.
Okay, given the music and how it's changed, why do I feel like something horrible's happened? It's very ominous sounding. Uh... Where did everybody go? It's me. Ord, my friend. I gotta go. Take care. Take care, mate. <laughs> that was totally not an awkward conversation. Librarium? No. Maybe I just need to go to sleep? Sleeping now wouldn't solve any of the problems I have. Eh, it would solve exhaustion. Perhaps we go here? There we go, maybe it's time to visit the island of F Fardo. It's a kiosk, selling ferry tickets and tourist brochures. It appears to be closed, however. One of the thousands of mopeds that can be seen all over these islands. Fardo Church Hall. Closed. Looks like there's nowhere to go but the convenience store. There's a door I can use, but the shop is closed now. Okay, then perhaps I do need to go to sleep? Why did I even come here if everything's closed? Whoops, I clicked out of the game. Oh, there we go. And this should be Jonathan's writing shack. The sun is now set. It's a mailbox belonging to the Jonathan's cottage. It's empty. Swedish West Coast. It's Jonathan Bergwall's writing shack. Yep. Alright. Let's go in. Hmm. Seems he was a star watcher. A calendar is resting on a shelf. It has a nice decorative cover. Okay, I'll take this with me. I walked with my cane from dusk till dawn. First I wandered from wonder to wonder, though all but one has gone asunder. Second, I roamed with the riders of the revelation, but didn't stay for the damnation. Third, I helped an ancient hero with his tasks. You don't decline when a hero asks. Lastly, I strolled from sea to sea. Missing no note, losing no key. from this year. It's got scratches. Literally scratches. Or is that supposed to be writing and it just doesn't actually say it? This is the day he died. It says rather calm morning but strong currents to northeast. I should write that down. Northeast strong currents. Tidy bed. Robust looking chest. Chests always have wonderful secrets. Hmm. On the top is some sort of lock mechanism. 
Oh god. It's a picture of a mythological beast. A bird's body with a female head. He had books on mythological beasts back at the library. There's even a keyhole too. So you need a code and a key. A chessboard is mounted upon the sturdy stone table. What do you know? He also had a book about chess in the library. A fairly powerful telescope is standing by the window, aimed at the sky. The stars are visible now. Interesting. There's some sort of lens fixed at the front, distorting the view. Jonathan created his own star sky. Hold left mouse button and direct the telescope. Press escape to stop using the telescope. Wait, what the heck is this? Huh? When did I get the constellations in my notes? I don't even remember that. Alright, let's leave that for now. For being a bit of an eccentric, Jonathan sure kept his workplace tidy. What did he have? I can search through all those binders, but I don't know what I'm looking for. Besides, if I know anything about Jonathan and his game, he wouldn't simply put the documents in plain binders. A rather modern electric typewriter. I guess this is where the magic happened. It's fully functional. The carbon film seems newly changed, and there's barely dust on the keys. Interesting, there are eight white queens on the board. And that's what the book was about, wasn't it? What was... what was... something about queens and could they checkmate or something, but what actually was it exactly? The piece is stuck to the table, I can't move it. Hmm? Did I ever mention that I've pretty much never played chess? I'll just plop them all on here, I guess. Okay. Do I win the video games? Strange. Okay, I'm guessing I'm supposed to identify the constellations or something. All right, there's six, six light spots. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so there's six of these, and there's six spots, so I'm obviously supposed to identify them. Alright, so the numbers that are supposed to go into the chest are obviously these two, up here. So the question is which spot needs it. It's whatever spot has the name of that mythical beast. What is that beast? Minotaurus. That doesn't sound right. Unicorn? Definitely not. Chimera? Maybe. Har oh, Harpy! Oh, it's gotta be a Harpy. Yeah. 
Okay, so which one looks like a harpy? Um, none of them? Maybe the bottom right one. Ooh, I think that might be it. No, stop moving. Stop, stop, stop. Eh. Eh. Alright, whatever, close enough. Um, yeah, that is, yep, that's definitely it. One, two, three. Over. Crap. Oh, damn it. Yeah, that's definitely it. Okay. So which number is associated with it? it? Looks like probably four eight. This damn thing won't stop moving. Yeah, it looks like it's probably four eight. It could be four nine. I suppose. Okay, I don't have the key though, right? Well, what is happening? What is it doing? That was weird. Okay, for nine. Well, I still need the key, right? So, I don't think this is gonna work. Okay, I need to leave. How in the hell do I leave this location? I don't see the hotspot to leave. Oh, that's <laughs> the exit is like the door. It's like two pixels wide. Weird. It's too late to go back now. There are no fairies at the... Are you serious? Can I just go to bed, please? What? How am I supposed to know what to do with these things? There's the book on myth mythological beasts. And the book about chess, but I can't go back to actually read them. What the fuck? Are you kidding me? I'm supposed to just remember what a couple random books selected from the library said? I'm almost certain it's a harpy, but I still need some sort of a key, and I don't remember what the hell is said about chess. You gotta be kidding me. Is that just gonna start the end of the story, or can I continue it? I'm pretty sure that's the end. Yeah. Okay. Strong currents to the northeast. That's useless to me at the moment. Well, I have to assume that you're not actually supposed to solve the chessboard at the moment. Given that I can't go back to read what the hell that book even said about chess. Guess I could try 3-8. Did kind of move to that occasionally. You've got to use a key. 
Use a paper knife. Come on, I'm a cryptographer. Surely I could pick a lock. Ah, different skill set, I guess. I can't take off into the distance. Using my trusty compass. Hmm. Dusk till dawn, wonder to wonder. Gone asunder. Revelations. Damnations. Hero, deadline, er, decline. Missing no note, losing no key. That's that losing no key thing makes me think I'm supposed to find a key somewhere, but none of the other actually instructions. I can't do anything with them. It's too dark to go anywhere. What in the hell? Alright, well, if it's not the harpy, what is it? Hydra. No, I mean, it's gotta be. It's gotta be a harpy. Bird's body with a female head. Let's look it up really quick. Harpy. Harpy Wikipedia. We're female monsters in the form of birds. Oh my god, those are some creepy images on Wikipedia. Yeah. In fact, as far as I can tell, I think this image here is actually just like a a pixel art version of the actual image for a harpy on Wikipedia. If you go there right now, it says exact image, but higher quality. Okay, it is a harpy, right? Find it again. I believe it was right about. Here. Yeah, I mean, that is absolutely 100% it. I mean, it's 4-8. Or 4-9, I guess, or 4-7. Or 3-8. I mean, I get the idea, so what's... What's wrong? It's doing that weird scroll thing again. And I don't have a key for the keyhole. I don't know, this is a big ball of weird. I get that, I get the code, I don't have a key. It doesn't seem like I can really go anywhere. I don't get what's up with this chessboard. I know it's related to what I read before, but... I don't remember what I read before, and I can't go back to look, so...
And I can't go to bed, huh? Alright. Walk through help. Wait, what the fuck? I'm supposed to use the White Queen pieces to recreate the Harpy constellation? What? Oh my god, what a pile of nonsense. These puzzles have gone from absurd, but, you know, at least completable, to just downright nonsense. Whoops. What a shame. I can't skip it. What have I done? Alright. Um, how do I recreate that? Well... Oh, there we go. The pieces come loose. Okay, yeah, I cut all of that out because it was uh, a bit annoying, to be honest. I actually like writing stuff down and I had to draw to an 8x8 grid for the chessboard, but... I kind of misdrew it, and then it took a while. Anyway, it turned out to be a key! Of course, how placing pieces on a chessboard could possibly unlock such a thing is... Well, it's basically impossible. It doesn't make any damn sense, especially not in 1984. This probably is 4-8. The key fits and can be turned around. Something's moving inside the chest. And there's a tourist brochure and a business card at the bottom of the chest. Okay, that's it. It's a tourist brochure informing about the various bunkers and other military remnants on the island. One of the bunkers on the map has been encircled. It should be easy to find. Jonathan has written something on the back side. My daughter. You must enter the dragon's lair. This is one way. Hmm. It's a business card. Jorgen Anderson, journalist, and his telephone number. On the back side it says, Give him what he wants to continue the hunt. Don't give up, my dear daughter. Hmm. Strange. Okay, well, I think I've had enough for one day. Yeah. Like I think I said before, the puzzles turned from absolutely non... just... silly. They were silly, but at least they were manageable. But now they've just turned downright absurd. Ugh. This is precisely what I feared when I heard it was an old-school adventure game as one of the features. Ah, uh, it's making me sad. I hope I don't regret playing this. I'm still intrigued about the story, but... Man, these puzzles. Anyway, alright, well I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I will be back soon.